Hello everybody, yes sir, Nick back with another episode of Minecraft Exploration Nether Edition. We are going to explore the nether fortress we found. So I have not explored anything. I shut everything down, went to work, made it to work on time for those of you that were worried. But now we're going to explore the fortress. So what I probably should have ready... I'll keep the sh... Uh, now we're going to need the shield. Okay, so let's have that. Move the bow. There. There we go. Alright, we got to be careful. It's in hard mode, not hardcore, but still. It's going to be dangerous in here. <gasps> Ooh, nether wart. Good, we need that. We need that for brewing. So, let's drop... Cut some of this nether brick down. Um, we'll drop some of the basalt in there. I'll keep the soul sand. Let's see. We still have that. Drop the flint. Don't need an extra bow. Keep the bones. Drop some more basalt. There we go. That should give us a little bit of something. There, that'll give us some space. Okay, there we go. Alright, so, this is nether wart. Ooh, there's a chest. Now, this nether wart isn't fully, some of it's not fully grown, but we're still just going to get all of it and then kind of replant it. Nether wart grows on soul, uh, soul sand. So, we have a bunch of soul sand, so we can make a farm. Oop, I, okay, never mind. It wasn't all fully grown. Let's see if I get... Okay, there we go. Nope, okay. Uh, there was like two of them that were fully grown. That's fine. Let's take care of the slime before he decides to hurt us. Or not slime, but magma cube. Okay, make sure the area is secure. You always want to keep an eye out for the zombie skeletons. They can hit you, or not zombie skeletons, that was dumb. The wither skeletons, that's the better word I was looking for. Ooh, got some gold, and some iron, okay. There we go. They have a withering effect. Ooh, diamond, ooh, a saddle, we got another saddle, yay. That's good. Diamond horse armor, that's good. They have what's called a withering effect, and wither can kill you. Okay, so that's a zombie pigman. They are a neutral mob unless you hit them, so we're not going to hit them. Be very careful not to hit them. Ooh, smithing template. Nice. That's new. I have not used those. <gasps> Diamonds. Diamonds are good. Iron's good. I'll take the obsidian. Don't know that I necessarily need it, but... I should probably mark... Put a block up for the directions I've been going. Okay, so I'll put two to show that we go down that way. But yeah, I'm just going to kind of explore and hopefully not get too lost or get dead. Uh, hopefully it isn't too dark. You guys should be able to see a little bit. Okay, that noise that you hear something that we're definitely looking for. There it is. Ooh, and there's a spawner, too. Okay, nice. Okay, so those are blazes. Blazes, blaze, are a hostile mob that are 
are made of fire and rods. And they shoot fire. And there's the rod that we need. But I don't have enough inventory space. Oof. Okay, what are we gonna get rid of? Let's get rid of I don't know, I don't know. Basalt. Okay, this is good. This is very good. Ow, that's bad. That hurts. It's a good thing we have fire resistance. Okay, let's make a note of these coordinates. Okay. Uh, let's get a better shot that we know. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, I'm going to make notes in my handy dandy not in game notebook. So we got Blaze Spawner. Taking a bunch of screenshots trying to do this. Uh, let's see. Okay, so Blaze Spawner, it is at negative 387, 67, negative 238. Somewhere in that area. Okay, let's get rid of all these screens. There we go. I get only one Blaze Rod. Big men don't go in there. Okay, I'm gonna need to go in and light this place up even more. Ow, ow, ow. Just sucks that there's pig men in there. Gonna go explore a different spot. Uh, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Is it enclosed already? Yes, it is. Ow, ow. Okay, yes, you got out of there. Shoot, there's too many of them. Too many of them. Okay, but it's uh, did I get any more blaze rods? I need a couple more blaze rods to be able to make the potions. Not good, not good, my friends. So that's a wither skeleton. Thankfully, they're three blocks tall.
just tempting fate at this point. I have four blaze rods, that should be enough to allow me to make a potion of brewing stand. Okay, okay, good, 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 good. There, I think I have this hopefully immobilized now. gonna yellow it and come back. <laughs> okay, that's good though. That's good. That's what exploring gets you. Let's see. So I think this will probably be Ah, so it's just right around the corner. seven. Okay, I think that's good. There's some wither skeleton. There's another one. Do I have looting on this? I do not, so I need to get looting. There's more gold. chase us. Hopefully get that one to chase us. Maybe. Okay, and the reason why I want to get why we attack them is because they have a skull drop that they drop. A skeleton. It's called a wither skeleton. Okay, I'm going to get lost. I need to be careful. Okay, so there's the spawner. Ooh, that scared me. I literally jumped in my seat. Okay, so I have the wither effect. i got to be careful. i got to hope that I can heal faster than it takes my hearts away. So, no, so see how it kind of makes your hearts go black? Well, then it also gives you the wither effect, and the wither effect is a nasty, nasty deal, because it'll take your hearts down, and it'll take you all the way to zero, whereas a, wish, a witch's potion will, uh, okay, you guys aren't, shouldn't be mad at me anymore, a witch's potion will take you down to one heart, and then you're done. Did I come from this way, or am I just getting lost more? Okay, I did not come from this way. You know what? Let's just go ahead and use our hoe. Let's see if we got any net gain from that. Five. Nope. Okay. That's okay. Yeah, there we go, that gives us some more. Ooh, I hear another blaze. Ow. There we go, got another blaze rod. But we're going to turn that blaze spawner into a mob farm. Is there any 
anything interesting in here. Got some gold. Another saddle. I'll keep that. I'll leave that. Okay. Um, I'm not interested in gold armor. But the diamond will get me what I need. Yes, I can. Okay, good. The diamond will be good because it will, uh, um, with two of them, I can, Layla and I both can have diamond covered horses. So that'll be good for further exploration. Okay, I think I'm going to get out of here while I still can. Alive. Came from that way. Oh, those buggers got a lot of health. Okay, so we'll go downstairs here. We are going to gear up a little bit better. Uh, let's see if we've got any. Get some more, get some looting, and then uh, come back. But with the looting, that should help us get more, more of the blaze rods and wither skeleton skulls. Okay, I don't remember. Was this a place to? Yeah, just for kicks and giggles. Let's see what's up here. Oh, that's a good little log cove. Alright, so we need to head back this way, I believe. Yep. Okay, I'm going to cut here. And I'm going to head back home and hopefully not die. Because no death would be good. Okay? So I will see you guys back at the house. Thank you. 
safe back at home Whew. that was nerve-wracking but we got our blaze rods we've got our nether wart so we'll need that to make potions and we've got more magma cream so I think we did pretty good pretty darn good so let's look at making a brewing stand okay so with the brewing stand you need one blaze rod and three cobblestone. The cobble deep slate will work as well. So boom, we have a brewing stand. We can use that to make potions. Now, I'm going to take an extra one because we need to go to our villager farm. So for now, let's go ahead and put this here. We're going to move it to our uh, mage's tower eventually. But real quick, let's see. Let's head over to the villager or to the village with our villagers that was a weird way to say it but you know whatever so we'll just head over there real quick it's just a hop skip and a jump in our mine cart over yonder and we will be over there before we know it so I went ahead and I kind of recorded my trip back just in case anything interesting like you know me getting blown up or something or running into something or falling into lava happens that way it would be there on on video um, but we made it through okay a couple of scares but not not too bad I'm just happy that we finally found the nether fortress I thought it was gonna be much more difficult to find than it actually was so that was a pleasant surprise Okay, so we have the village over here. We're going to do kind of like what we did with the um, with the librarians. And we're going to find a spot to where there is one of the unemployed villagers. And we'll put down the brewing stand. And that should cause it to turn into a cleric. And then we can, if it has good trades... I uh, will be able to sell uh, the rotten flesh to it. And that will tie in our zombie spawner. Um, okay, that's not going to be a great spot for you. Let's see if anybody comes in here. That spot has a bed and a bed and a bed. Ooh, some apples and some bread. Don't mind if I do. Let's be honest, they weren't really using those. Okay, so there's a bunch of houses. So here... That's our unbreaking. And then the guy next to him is our... Uh, These are all houses, not necessarily workstations. Well, we might have to turn one of these into a workstation. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to put in the brewing stand right there, and we'll see who goes in there. Anybody want it? You want it? No? <laughs> okay. So now, if I talk to him, maybe. Yeah, this might not work the way I wanted to. Okay, man. What 
if I come in like that. No. I need a slab, but... Hmm... So he doesn't have the best trades. So let's go ahead and break that. And steal his terracotta. And put it down. 32. We might be at a spot to where... He doesn't want to tra tra change what he offers. 32 flesh, that's not, that's not the greatest in the world. Seriously, you're not going to give me anything good. So I might have to just go find one of your brothers to give me something. Yeah, okay. You know what? Fine. You don't want to be useful and, and change up what you have to offer. I'm just going to put your house back the way it was and say au revoir. didn't quite work the way I wanted it to. You. Okay, well, not quite working the way I want it to. What time of the day? Oh, see, they should be able to change it, but... Let's see, will one of them come in here? There's a job for you. You want it? You can have it. Okay, that looks like all I'm going to get from these guys. Oops. Oh, we got a farmer. What do you sell? Ooh, wheat. Okay, well, let's lock you in. Anybody want to come in here? I've got a fresh new brewing stand. I think whoever goes in there will just, uh, Obviously, this isn't working the way I thought it was going to or the way I wanted it to, but that's okay. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. It was kind of fun exploring that uh, another fortress with you guys. I found some good stuff. Good stuff indeed. We got some stuff to advance our cause. So, if you enjoyed today's episode, a thumbs up rating. Always appreciated. If you have any comments to help the series get better, I appreciate those as well. You guys have a good day out there. Be safe and make that world a better place. Take care. Bye-bye.